Today we're playing Mono Blue. Darty, 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 Sorry for yesterday when I played the dragon. I didn't play it too well. <laughs> I realized when I watched the video. I was as surprised as you guys were. <laughs> so, today, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a better job. Because today we're playing Mono Blue. And you guys all know, when I play Mono Blue, for some reason... It turns out pretty well when I play Mono Blue. That's what I'm trying to say. Today, we're spicing on Mono Blue with a card which is very, very good in this archetype. Which is Forsaken Monument, a very, very powerful card. Colorless creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Whenever you tap a permanent for a colorless, you add an additional colorless. And whenever you cast a colorless spell, you gain to life. Of course you have Ugin. Before you all combat, of course you have Ugin in this. <laughs> Be a dingus if I didn't have Ugin in this. Because you get so much mana with this, it's very easy to play. So, as you can see here, it's a little bit special with the lands. We have a lot of lands which produce colorless, but how do we even get blue? Well, there's a couple of ways. We have Golden Egg, which can give us blue. We have Skyclave Relic, which can give us blue. We have, as it so happened, Throne of Makindi, which I haven't seen a single soul play so far. You can put a charge counter on Throne of Makindi for one colorless, remove a charge counter for Throne of Makindi and add two mana of any one color, which can play only to, to cast kicked spells, which is actually perfect if you want to play something like an Into the Royal on your turn three, which is pretty nice kicked in the Royal, that is. Uh, we also have unknown chores because we're gonna get so much colorless manas anyways it doesn't often matter if you have to tap this uh and it costs a little bit extra to get that blue manas because we just need a little bit a little bit of a splash splush of blue mana then we of course have the blue lands the seagate restoration and the bar disruption but in most cases if we can we want to play these as spells rather than to play them as lands other than that, we have Myriad Construct, which is another new card from Sendika Rising, which whenever it enters the battlefield, it ends the battle if it was kicked, it ends the battlefield with a plus counter on it for each non-basic land your opponent control. And whenever it goes to target of a spell, you sacrifice it and create any number of 1-1 one, one colorless creature artifact tokens equal to its power. And of course, these all get buffed plus 2 plus 2, so they get super big. And that's often how we kill our opponents. So one thing we can do is we can play the Inscription of Insight, hopefully even with the kicker, return to target creatures, return one of their creatures, and return our own Myriad Construct, which is gonna kill it, but we're gonna spawn a lot of 3-3s three since we have the Forsaken Monument. Then you also get a blue illusion and draw some cards. This card is really, really good, by the way. This is one of my new favorite cards. Inscription of Insight. Oh, okay. First, first duck hand. Mm. <laughs> so good it is. Uh, into the Royal to bounce stuff to survive the early game. You bought disruption, a little bit of disruption. Then we have the spare supplies and gold leg, which is very good because they're colorless things, which means we're gonna gain some life because often we take a lot of damage before we get down an Ugin or get down something that makes us able to survive. And that's why it's very good to have all these colorless things, even though they just cycle through. It's very good because we're gonna gain some life points, and uh, that's very good. That is pretty much the deck though. We Oh, one more thing, which I don't think I used in a single game, but we have the option. If we run out of the Myriad Constructs and Ugins, it might be very difficult to kill our opponent. I guess we could kill them with Illusions from Inscription of Insight, but still, we also have Crawling Barons. We can put counters on Crawling Barons, and then you may have it become a 0, zero Elemental Creature Token until end of turn, it's still a land. So, as I understand this, this is still colorless. I haven't got time to confirm this, but this is colorless, so it should get buffed by the Forsaken Monument. And you can put a lot of counters on this, you can get the Crawling Barons to be really, really huge in this deck. That is the deck. Let's jump into the game. What is that? That's uh, MacGyver. I didn't know. Very popular show in uh, Sweden. I don't know if it was as popular in the US. And this is like a, some weird shows in Europe, depending on what country you're in. And they become super popular in like one country. And uh, then you talk with Americans about it, they don't even know what it is. They have no idea. And they thought, this... This is American television, this is what they're all about. They're all about MacGyver. Now people don't know what MacGyver is. And maybe you do. And I think MacGyver is... Uh, I might be. Uh, might be, I probably have about this. Uh, this guy though. Chandra's Pyreling, Types 2. Times 2, okay. We're this non-combat damage on opponent. That's uh, a little double strike and extra damage. That seems very dangerous. We, we can uh, snack on those supplies at any point. 
Last turn. We can return both Pyrelings next turn with the Inscription of Insight. Which could be very cool. Did I have Ivaris Destructor not play in turn 1? No, I drew it, right? Was that Dengus? I don't know if that's Dengus. Well, we need this. Schnack on the supplies. <laughs> okay, take some damages. I think he's ready now to cast his spell. I think he's very much ready. So we put down this. And we um, we bounce the balloons. We turn up the two target creatures. Uh, these bad boys. Up to the handling hand you go. Oh! Oh! Tanyaritas! Okay. Continues playing them. That's good. Now we got the Forsaken Monument. And I think this bad boy is gonna, gonna make him cry. Gonna make him cry. Pyrelink? No, Bombardment. Ooh. That's actually some damage. But these guys can drop a strike also. Yep. Yeah, that, that is... Are we done? We done two? <laughs> okay. That's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Well, at least we get two from this. And then we get minus three. Luckily, you got Ugin. Luckily, you got Ugin. I don't know that we're gonna survive this, though. We probably have some board wipe or something. We can or no board. <laughs> board wipe. If I have a board wipe, guys. That doesn't make sense. It probably has a burn spell, is what I'm trying to say. Or something. Something of that kind. Four manas, though. It's gonna be. Judsteam. If it was kicked, it deals 5 damage. Okay, see, it deals 3 damage. That is fine. It's gonna play another, and we're gonna you bar disruption it and just win. Maybe. I'm not winning yet. Okay, bar disruption. Oh, countered! Oh! That's bad, good. Okay. We really, really need to play some colorless spells here, I think. To not die. Okay, so. Let's see. If we play this and another Ugin, we get out of the. Uh, the range of him snapping us. Snapping our necks, I think. Okay. So I think we want to do that. Play another Ugin. Even though... I mean, it's a little bit like... Do you really want to play another Ugin? We don't want to be in lethal range, I think, of his uh, burn spells. So... Probably have to do this. And, uh, yeah, first turn. He's down to 14. And he needs more burn. Thorban. Oh, that's perfect. That's compulsion. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Balloons. Balloons him, I say. Balloons him. Oh, well. Smack his face. And do do the, do the Melandi. And, uh, and turn. Can I deal five damage? I don't think so. I think he has to play that Torban again. In which case, stoned. gonna get stoned, boy. And shocks our face. Well, 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 well. Into the royal. Return it. Oh. Sure. Not a three. <laughs> this one was close. Oh, oh. And then the scoop. Oh, oh. But do you, but do you, but do you. So you usually say. So how I introduce myself to people. Oh, hello, my name is... I don't know. Steven. <laughs> Something. <laughs> and I say, oh, badoo, badoo. <laughs> badoo, badoo. And uh, then usually they don't talk to me anymore. That's a good way. If you don't want to talk to someone at any... If you're at a wedding or something and it's like, oh, I don't want to talk to people. Whenever someone comes up to you, say, oh, oh, badoo, badoo. And then they, they try to have a conversation with you. Oh, huh, that's, that's funny. Uh, my name is Steven. <laughs> they all named Steven, by the way. <laughs> and you're like, ew, ew, but do, but do. At some point, they will leave. Trust me on this one. <laughs> Trust me on this one. They will. Okay. Inquisitive puppet. He's gonna scry. Is he gonna exile it to create a 1 1 white human creature token? Question on the mind there. Oh, we gotta find out soon. Can you do this is perfect if you want to hold the uh, priority at all and if you want to do this. This is one way of holding a priority. The other way is uh, playing Inquisitive Puppet turn one. Okay. 
Jade Jago. Alright, I'm sure about the pass. Is it the second man? It's getting there. <laughs> I think it did what I said. I think it did mark every. Ah, I quested. Holding priority. How oh, I love it. Me. Okay. First blast. This guy's pretty good. Pretty good. It's pretty good. That was very surprised. It's a simple thing, but so good. Oh, this. Did we actually have the colorless mirror? I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> That's very kind of mirroring around the, our place here, okay? Do I want to put down Ibari in the stock? If I don't draw a land here, I think I put down the Ibari and keep up into the royal. Can bounce my own spare spies. I can eat them up, boss. Let's see. Inquisitive the puppet. Master of holding priority. Oh! Ah, there's no use in attacking in. Jaden Jago. Maybe. Just to mess with him. Do the same thing. <laughs> stop at combat. Stop at second main phase. And I'll stop at next turn. Stop. Stop after next turn. What? After next turn? After next turn, you can do that? That's pretty cool. So before your upkeep or when do you stop them? Can you do things before your upkeep? Yeah, you can. You can do it in untap, right? Can you do be things before you untap? I don't think so. Don't think so. Uh, I think I'm gonna crack these supplies here. Crack them. Crack them all. And... Hmm. More disruption. Are we gonna get the use out of that? I think this thing is probably very long term also, so let's uh, we might get a use out of this. Maybe, who knows. Maybe, maybe. We don't have too much colorless though, only one colorless lander. We have the Throne of Makindi. Throne of Makindi, very beautiful card. This guy has a lot of uh, non-basics though, I think uh, Nuriad could be very much kicked against him. Okay, this guy has Ugin. So you have 3, 4, 5. We can't play it next turn, though. We can't play it next turn, so maybe just into the Royal is Palladium here. Balink, Balink, Balink. And hope to go and untap land. Well, no, that's not an untap land, but it's fine. It's fine. Jay the Jago. We could put down Skyclave and just normal into the Royal next turn, and then the Forsaken Monument, and then the Ugin. But Ugin probably won't do anything against him, since he's also colorless. I will deal 3 damage every turn, that's kind of useful though. Kind of useful. Jada Jago, how did they find the mirror matchup here? Now how did... <laughs> Why did he... F I feel like just playing Ugin, just killing that puppet. Even though I know it's useless to try to kill the puppet. Just to get rid of the key priority. Ah, oh, well this will also keep priority all the time. As long as there's a creature on the board. I guess it requires a target, right? Yeah. Okay, the mirror. Out again. Down on the ground. It's down there. On the ground there. But do do. But do do do. And now he's gonna pass down. Ah, oh, he made it too. The main. The main with a monster. <laughs> okay. Forsaken monument. I think he has his own protection. Would be surprised if it does not. And then Ugin also. But he can't play with this time, so I will not be playing Oh wow. Oh wow. Maze Mind Dome. Uh huh. I see. Do we put down Ugin and shoot one of the mirrors so he can't play his own Ugin? Seems like a play. Oh, look. Get some life points. And start Ugin. Uh, I think we just put this down at Lano. And the past El Ternerino. Yes, yeah, so next time we can go Inscription Insight. That's kind of nice. Oh, 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 We can't get rid of that though into the Royal. Which we have to do. Because it's, it's kind of good. Kind of good. Rim time for a second moment. Can't allow it. They simply cannot allow it. And, okay. 
So, into the Roilers. Back with the Forsaken Monument. We need to be the only guys with Forsaken Monument, sir. I simply cannot allow you to have fun. It would be too much fun. Let's see, four, five, six, seven with this. Then we can play this with the uh, Fanger. With the uh, Kicker, right there. Okay, Jade Jago. He's gonna use that Inquisitor Puppet in response. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, not you. Not you. Well, we'll try the Kicker then. But what is the Kicker? The Kicker is he gets very big. He gets a plus, a plus counter for each non base gland, and he's three. Three freaking non base glands. I wish this was for your own non basic lands. That would be amazing because you can have an insane amount of non basics in this deck. Well, that puppet sure coming in handy. Must say, sir. Maybe you should consider saying. Maybe you should consider taking this out. It's like scrying. Some people can't handle scrying. Great mechanic, but some people just can't handle it. Okay, nine, nine. Man, if he targets this with something. I don't think he's gonna, but if he ever does. Ooh, it's big. Well, we can target it with our own Ender Roll, though. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay, nine. Nine three threes, that's a lot of power. I've heard. I've heard it from several sources. It's a lot of power. A Lady Mur coming down again. I couldn't even play the monument. That would have been good for him playing the monument. But it did not happen. No, 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 no. No, 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 senor. It did not happen. Okay. We could even smash in for nine. We can also do this thing. We could smack this with the Ugin. He sacrifices. And we finally get rid of it. So it won't hold priority all the time. And then we can return two creatures. Return both of these to his hand. And draw two cards and do everything. Oh, do we have? Yeah, we have enough blue. We have enough everything to do that. That seems kind of nice. And I know we just shoot his face with this. And then we probably win with the ultimate. Ah, that the puppet. Good idea, wizards. Good idea. That didn't work out in here. Okay. Put a page count. Put a page count. Put it on there. It's browsing. Browsing those pages. That's what I do right now. Browsing. It's browsing. Let's see. It's cry. This guy also has scry. He has Inquisitive Puppet and scry. This guy has been, been given way too much freedom, honestly. Way too much. <laughs> Is there such a thing as too much freedom? Jada Jago. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, we didn't even use the ability. Why didn't he use the ability, sir? Sir, and then he concedes. <laughs> that song is that? I think that's Adam's family. Oh, exactly what this thing is. Golden egg. I have a golden egg. And it's fire! Again, fire, coolest word. Check it out in the dictionary. You don't need to check for F, check for C as in coolest word. It's really listed on it, okay? Skyclave Relic. Twill? What will you do against my relic? Will you just succumb to it? This guy has a uh, real land, he has a rare land. But it's dangerous. It's dangerous and you should not trust you. No, no, no. Uh, I think the mirror counter would be huge. A lot of. It's the rich boy killer, the rich boy slayer. <laughs> the mirror counter. Oh, uh, we're very close to being. Oh, we can actually play it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we yes. play it with my life. We get the mother man. Get the mother man. Oh, uh, oh. Doesn't give that much mana. It gives two mana. <laughs> Currently, but it's gonna give a lot. In the end. A lot of life points, also. 
the absolute schnoon schnooniness of life ones. But okay, or Manas he seems to be holding up counters, doesn't he? Twill is a counter boy, a CB. Counter. Okay, Uro. Card. Main our myriad construct is gonna be big against this guy. Main. Maybe just play it on the off chance that it doesn't read it, because it probably doesn't. No, it's myriad construct. It's, uh, it's a, the unwritten rule of myriad construct. Nobody reads it. Okay. Spare spell might snack on that the next turn. So. Ooh, card here. Oh, in the royal, that's pretty nice. So now we have, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten manas, that's a lot. It's a lot, lot. It's a lot of Liduners. I wish you could return your own lands with this. Return target non land permanent. Your opponent controls or a land you control. Because them can turn. This is not a lot of cards that we get. We get. Okay. Good luck. Got a lot of beast, uh, a lot of tokens. A lot of teeny tokens. Uh, okay. What we could do the myriad construct kicker and return it, which would give us uh, a lot of dudes, I think. But what is the kicker? The kicker is the kicker is now he, he will get to snow. Now we can do this at any point. Not need to do this now necessarily. We could also return his pilaf. To his hand. Yeah, I think we do that, but he's gonna give, create a lot of dudes. But we can exile them with the Uber, anyway, so. I think we do that. Return it to his hand. Force him to play that again. And if he targets that with something, he's gonna have a nasty. A, a nasty surprise attack. Nasty one. It probably doesn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What, did I count correctly? No? Seven. <laughs> ah, whatever, it can't, can't be true. <laughs> okay, so we could do minus six on this bad boy. And that's kind of, kind of nice. Oh, no, 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 six. Minus uh, six. Yes. Bye. You guys go bye. And uh, spike his face. And I think we keep up the inter roll because this guy might target our Ugin. He might target him with something, and I don't like it. Then we want to bounce our Ugin. If he does. Is he gonna know? Twill? Please target this. Please don't think about what you're doing and target it. Oops, uprising. That's completely fine. Don't mind that. Omnath. Sure. Draws a card. Draws a card. Okay. And it doesn't do anything. Well, in that case, we won. We don't even need to kick her. But we're gonna kick her anyways. That's the show of what we're all about. Because now we get nine three threes. And that's a lot of three threes. Now we smack. Gonna bounce this also. Bang, bang, boom, 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 boom. Bow, 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 My battle cry also. When I go into battle, wear a Viking helmet and I scream, Oh, but no! Oh, but no! Not that many weapons, I just wave my fists around like this. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you saw someone screaming oh, but no, running at you like this, you would drop them. You'd probably run away, I think. Seems smirtest. Okay, so do we... Do we Ivory Disruption his next spell? Or do we Spare Spies? I think we Ivory Disruption. He probably has something dangerous to do. I don't know what it could be. Yep, that thing. That thing is way too dangerous. No, 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 cannot have that. No, 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 way too strong. Permanent Championess. Ah, the Skyclip Relic. Badang! Badang, 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 badang. No skills bound. Playing the Mono Rattlers. Mono Rattlers! Mono Rattlers! 
Scabalini, who knows? Do we bounce these bad boys? Buy us some time. Do we need to even? We might need to. This could kill us very quickly if it has a lot of burn in hand. It probably has at least one shock. It's in there. Does he also have the giant? Question. That is the question, sir. Do you have the giant? I think we... Put down this. Down some spare supplies. And we'll see how much damage we do. Ooh, that brings us Scrofus. That's here. Uh, six manas. Uh, a little bit off. Playing the Eugene. We can inscription of insight at least back these bad boys. Slow them down. I prefer to play something like... I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay. That thing doesn't have double strike yet, though, so it doesn't do much. That's good. Uh, this thing's main if I could kicker it. Can I? No. <laughs> if I count the manas twice, can I do it then? No. <laughs> no, that's still not how it works. It gets double drive, but doesn't have trample. Okay, gets a bottom one. Douchebag. Target it, please. Give me lots of bottom ones. Plinks target, plinks. We can actually... Return up to two target creatures his owners have. We can actually use this with our Myriad Contract, I didn't think about it before. And return his Pyreling and our... And our Myriad. We want to create a lot of one ones. Could do that. Could do that. Uh, I think we snap this thing first though. Uh, let's see here. We tap you and... We might use the Makando, so we use this. Eat up the spare supplies. And, okay. Bondas and Clough. Hmm. Let's see here, five, six, seven. So next time we can Ugin. So that means... That means if we return his things, he shouldn't be able to do anything. I think that's what it means. Return up two target creatures. Oh, this thing. To his hand. And then he shouldn't be able to do much. He could put on the Amber Cleave on the Furman Champion, I guess. That's about it. No attacks. No, no, no. Because Ugin is gonna clear this up. And he's probably gonna just gonna play that again. He might not know. Probably everyone knows that everyone has Ugin. This guy might even have Ugin himself. Ah, Raid Bombard. That's perfect. We get. Get more stuff down there, okay? He doesn't attack in, that is beautiful, beautiful. And minus three seems to be the choice here. Minus uno, dos, tres. Oh, how does that hurt? I even forgot to comment on the fact that we made it into diamond. Yes! Where did the diamond? Yes! And it's gonna be more milvex! More mono red! Yes! <laughs> Made it, everyone. Made it. Um, um, keep. This seems like we. Oh, no, no. Oh, is everyone gonna be more around now? Oh. Have we made it into a goblin's nest? <laughs> That's what we've done. Goblin's nest with slob and spit on it. <laughs> Robber of the shit. Ow. Ow. Okay. Yeah. Let's get a relic. Uh, can you keep up the Inter Royal and the Ivory? Good time being. Let's see what his move is. Three manas. Sure. He's gonna snag Fang. He's gonna play my Skyclave Relic. Oh, and the Nogan. <laughs> it's getting dangerous here. Okay. Okay. And then, play Skyclave Relic. Man, might. Might do that. If it, if it plays a Skyclaw Relic, I think I'll bounce this Robert Ridge and I'll turn, do I? No, I can just counter it, if it plays it. But is it gonna? Ellerim! <laughs> he is very tempted by playing Jungen. Let me tell you that much. Now he can kick her this. Then we get enough mana. Wait the six, play this, then play the Jungen. Same. Same, good idea. <laughs> No, 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 Fenor. No, no, no. Fenorita and Fenoret. Skycap. 
I probably need to play something to get less cards than me. Let's see. Five, five, okay. okay. Didn't get a card, that's good. That means you can put down the Forsaken Monument next turn. And that could probably be quite good, I think. Quite good. Hope it doesn't have Torben, man. Oh, oh, it has Torben. What do we do? What do we do? Take a million damage. That's good. And check. Okay, we're dead. That's fast. Oh, we're done too. Okay. Well, lucky us, I guess. <laughs> lucky us. Okay, well, got a golden egg. And draws a card. Uh, set of spare supplies can give us some life. And uh, let's see, if we put another spare supplies down, we can still into the royal back is Torban. Or we eat up the golden egg, which is actually more life. And into the royal the Torban. This just gives two life, this gives. But this draws a card also. Yeah, okay, put this down. Eight, card. That would be sweet to play that thing, but we need to we need to hold. Hold our horses here. Hold our horses. Shock face. But well, he can play Torben again, so I need to take it, don't I? Uh, we could also. Let's see, that's four damage. We can bounce this Torben, it plays Torben again, and then we die. Nah, okay, we can take it. Go down to four. Another robber of the rich. Okay, well that in that case we can actually do this. We can return this Torben and eat the golden egg. And eat the golden egg, got this Safun. And take six. Go down to one. That is that's very low. <laughs> very low, but we're not dead yet. Unless he has another burn spell. Description of insight, found that also. You find that also. Hmm. Well, well, well. Uh, I think we'll eat up a pair of spare supplies here. Got need to. There's the Ugin. There's the Ugin. Ugin minus minus two. Should do. Unless he has a burn spell. Minus those. Ooh. And just her, hope that doesn't have a haster. That guy gets us. Haster or burn spell. And then he gets us. He plays Torban. That's kind of work. Okay. Flying muted. Wow. Everything did this. That doesn't seem super good. Very happy for that, okay. Well, we'll eat up this. Madank. Ooh. Into the Royal also is pretty good there. So, 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 so. We definitely want to into the Royal the Everquill Phoenix. To draw a card. Ooh, Inscription of Insight. That is kind of noise. We can now, let's see, if we put down this. And we kicker you. No, we don't need the kicker. He doesn't have any. <laughs> oh, wait. The plus counter for each non basic. Oh, but it gets plus from a Forsaken Monument. That's why. I was <laughs> very confused there. Uh, I didn't need to kicker that. But I kickered it anyways. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. Okay, everyone. Phoenix. And, okay. Well, we can remove the phoenix with this. That's an easy start, at least. And then we can get some more lanes, or some more cards, I mean, with this. Golden egg seems kind of nice. Then us up to seven, draw the third, okay. And down this, I think another myriad construct. Could be kind of nice, we the nine now also. And yeah, smack his face. But 
Oof, what a turnaround, the Ogen! The Ogen, very much needed though, okay? Torben, the burn spell needs in hand. Doesn't, okay, that's very, very good. Uh, okay, so I think we do this then. We're gonna kick her, we're gonna do everything here. We turn two creatures, that would be these two. Thank you so much, amigos! And whatever the female version of amigos is, I don't really know. Even though I'm from Mexico. Am amigo Selena. <laughs> Maybe. Thank you so much for everyone for watching. And a special thank you, of course, to our Patreon members and our members here on YouTube. Ah! <laughs> thank you so much to Adam Alexa, Seaman Lauer, Rodney Cox. The Soft Pillow, Nathaniel Nissan, Laser Set the Stunner, Michael W, Topless Investments, Peter Gold, Charles Stevens, Gabriel Humanon, Way, Mesa McGuan, Your Old Basses, Tai Tai, You Lie Moonlight, Sark Drake 2000, Resk Part, Invoke Legion, John Domian, Gesu Saki, uh, Only 7, Ellie Cardis, Noah VH, MC Hermes, Fumiaki Kinoshita, Jacob, Steve Raminski, Sky Surfer Zero, Tim Dutton, uh, Jake Dunley, The McDuncan, Relegan, Chase Closed, Honsa Koss, Agri Born, Ramen Noodles for Me, Nethervex, Musketeer, Tom Q, Name the Epithet, Their Lurgarf, Dimly Fax, Tricker Mike, Yuan Tu Ying, Channel Fate Load, Anthony Nixon, Ninja Astral, Optimus, Poki U, Magic Pistol Man, Seppi 1310, Martin Newman, Captain Loiska, That's Mr. God to You, Jake Palmer, Thomas Schwartz, Kyle Hoff, Judy Robinson, Robert Montgomery, Salim Proctor, Zach Coyler, QGL889, Some Call Me George, Paris Hammond, Bill Murray, Kale Wedgwood, Patrona Bavaria, Robert Parker, Adam Jacob, Fernando Viezu, Robert Lewis, Dr. Leos, Santa John, Geek Embracer, General Educator Embracer of Knowledge, Joseph Suniga, Nate TMI, Shamanix, Matthias Porley, DJX Disorder, Carlos Ordenes, Simon Fairley, Evan Milley, William Cunningham, Connor Langdon, Kevin Yunyeya Wan, Lim Lenson, John Silver, AD Sibrosis, Yuri Lepikov, Isabella Nemi Lindfors, DJ Star in the Mix, Link is Week, Virokta, Dan Goodsell, Aaron Noble, Drew Styles, Adam Alexis, Matthew Gorgans, Betsuma, Serge Carmaro, Freemans, Tapson, Brenton Dobbs, DBK Drummer, Rainbow Cake, Abandon Tatum, Piotr Stalardix, Ninja Longum, Infinite Draw, Dr. Jada, Javier Diaz, Adam Ruth, Barbara McKenley, Butt with Ass, 7 Guys 777, Big Bob, MTG, Patrick Henning, Liquid E, Thanatos, Nesbot, Truman, Yellowbean, Patrick Parks, Martin Newman, Jonathan Burgess, James Hazel, Harshit Singh, Eat It, Alexander G, Valencia, Lochinated, Travis Markley, Grinning Demon, Frank Sherwood, Perron, Sky, Disquieters, I Ate My Neighbor, Yuto Ayase, Christopher Tonkin, Guadalupe Hernandez, Bam Bam, Kevin C, Yoda for Sale, Trunks, 305 in KC, Michael Brown, Mark Rutledge, Amber Parrot, Jacob Harrer, and Rick Mr. Joe, you guys are amazing! Thank you so much for watching! Also, big thank you to our Patreon members. By the way, if you want to learn how to bake some bread, your own bread, then check out now. Just kidding, these are some videos that Google recommend. I can't guarantee it's baking bread videos. That would be cool, though. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon down below. Thank you all so much for watching. And stay hipster. <laughs>